here you go, Benny. The largest buys plus of the weekend is the Sunday evening game. What's that, 6.30 p.m.? Buffalo Bills at the Kansas City Chiefs. And, you know, it's funny because the buff, we were talking about how Buffalo is like number one in net points, but Kansas City has the home field advantage. So Buffalo has to go there. And still in all, because of the net point advantage, Buffalo is favored five, score of 5.2 in the bias plus favors Buffalo in <coughs> Kansas City, much less. Oh, man. This is one of those games where you really, they were talking about how they, how guys had wished that the Chargers would have advanced so they could see Herbert perform at these levels, you know, but, yes. you know, but now he's, he's out. And you know, that after this game, one of these two teams, you know, and you want to see them sort of at the conference at the Super Bowl level, you know, Mahomes, we've kind of already seen, um, but right now, your boy Josh is playing a right combination or a nice combination of pocket and running quarterback. So, uh, you know, and he's got digs. He's got some weapons. And yeah, man. So, here you go, buddy. What he got? Okay. First, oh, let Bill's me mention. Mafia or what? Oh, you know I love Bill's Mafia. You know I love Bill's Mafia. I've said time and time again over – the course of the season that I think the bills are better than Kansas city. I believe the bills have already gone into Kansas city and won this season. I believe they will do it again. I'm taking Buffalo right off the bat. No drama, no extra. Now, the only scary thing about picking Buffalo in this game is number one, chiefs are home, which isn't that big a deal to me. Okay. Number two is what I saw from the Chiefs offense last week was a little bit more spreading around of the ball by Mahomes. Uh, he got the ball to like everybody. Uh, uh, what's his face? Uh, obviously, Kelsey got his. Um, Tyreek Hill didn't catch as many balls as he normally does. Teams are really bracketing him and trying to keep him from killing them. Uh, Hardman had a good number of throws and good catches and good yardage afterward. Um, remember, oh remember, I was talking about how much opportunity there is in those underneath throws and those quick passes. Yes, you know, and, and, and they, they were using advantage of that uh, of, of those now. And also, I guess included. I don't know if these are included as passing stats, but didn't he have it? He had at least two. Then they had the one play to the lineman where it's like the shovel up the middle. Yeah, yeah like that's considered pass a pass. Race. That's a pass. That's a pass. Okay. Yep. So, yeah, they, they're they tricky. A little sleight of hand here and there. You know, that's, that's Andy Reid's forte. I get it. But when the Bills unleash their offense on that shaky Kansas City defense, He's going to have to pull out all the stops to keep up. I really believe that the Buffalo Bills are going to go in here and show these boys what it's like to play a real team, a real team that's going to keep coming at them, that team that's not going to cower if they drive down and get a score or Tyreek Hill gets a big play or anything like that. And 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 the and the good, like I said, the good thing about the Chiefs is the diversity with which they used their passing game last week. The bad thing about the Chiefs is their lack of a running game. If in fact this becomes a scoring battle, or if in fact the Buffalo Bills were to go up on them, it's gonna be a problem. In fact, even if the Chiefs go up early, will they be able to sustain it? Will they be able to hold a lead without a real run game? They're pretty much done, bro. Hilaire is down. Darrell Williams is not healthy. The young kid, Gore, didn't look so good against a good team. <laughs> They're coming in a little shorthanded. 
It's all on Mahomes. And we know what happens to Mahomes when he's under intense pressure. I saw several plays on the network where they showed where he could have come up and thrown the ball, and instead he chose to escape the pocket and try to throw on the run. He still got the same problems he had last year when they lost the Super Bowl. I'm taking the Bills. I'm taking the Bills confidently. All right. All right. And you know something that's real? I didn't mention this during the, when our discussion on the uh, Niners and, and the Packers, but there was a set of stats that, that they ran on TV in one of these shows, which talked about Aaron Rodgers and Aaron Rodgers under pressure. And the the drop in his quarterback rating under pressure, and I was looking at it like, what? You know, it just it didn't make sense. This is what the funny part was when I was playing the virtual game, right? And I was really thinking about not like blitzing them or not coming at them, you know, anything because it's Aaron Rodgers and he's just going right. to take full advantage of it. And I saw I had to stop the game and. I put the regular TV on and when I came to come back to the game. When I came back, they were talking about this, and I looked at that, and I was like, oh, so I can't pressure him. <laughs> and literally just in that time frame, I went on and added it in, and it worked. So really funny, but I was surprised. That doesn't make sense when you're talking about an Aaron Rodgers that, you know, he he his uh, quality would drop precipitously when he's under pressure versus not under pressure. That's the one thing the Niners were always able to do was to pressure him, you know, and, and really, you know, screw it all up for their offense. So um, mm, I, that was just a weird stat. Okay. Buffalo Bills at Kansas City Chiefs. Buyers plus score 5.2 favors. The Buffalo Bills, you are going with the Bills Mafia. Correct. All right. And that wraps up the third quarter.